So now this little tidbit of information is for all my respiratory therapy students out there because this is what you need to remember about wheezes for the TMC exam. So as we've already discussed, wheezing can be caused by bronchospasm. And when this is the case, you should of course recommend a bronchodilator like albuterol. But another thing that you need to be aware of is that you may see a question where a patient has a unilateral wheeze. And when this is the case, it indicates that a foreign body obstruction is present. So with a foreign body, a bronchodilator like albuterol probably isn't going to do any good and it's not going to make the wheezing go away. So instead, you would want to recommend a rigid bronchoscopy. So just for clarification purposes, when there is bilateral wheezing, meaning that wheezing is occurring on both sides of the lungs, that's when you would want to recommend a bronchodilator. And on the other hand, if there is unilateral wheezing, meaning that the wheezing is occurring only on one side of the lungs, this indicates that a foreign body obstruction is present. That's when you would want to recommend a bronchoscopy. And if you're confused, an example of a foreign body obstruction in adults would be a bronchial mass like you would see in a patient with lung cancer. Or in children, it could be that they swallowed an object which is causing a partial obstruction on one side of the lungs, and that is what is causing the unilateral wheeze. And now one more thing to look out for on the TMC exam. So let's say you're assessing a patient that is clearly in respiratory distress, but when you listen to their breath sounds, they are diminished. You don't hear any wheezing, but there's just not much air movement going on. So then you continue with the bronchodilator therapy, and after the treatment you reassess the patient. This time when you listen to their breath sounds, you can hear some audible wheezing going on. Do you know what this means? This actually means that the bronchodilator is working and the airways are actually starting to open up. So a lot of students get that one confused because at first there was no wheezing, and then after the treatment there was wheezing. It kind of sounds counterintuitive, but always remember that when a patient is diminished and you give them a breathing treatment, and then you hear wheezing, that means that they are actually improving. And if you enjoy little tidbits of information like this concerning the TMC exam, definitely consider checking out our Hacking the TMC exam video course. Because inside of the course, we are sharing all of our best tips, tricks, and insights, and students have been using that information to pass the TMC exam. So if you're interested, I'll drop a link down below in the description. All right, guys, that's the end of this quick video. If you thought it was helpful, do me a favor and hit that like button and be sure to subscribe for more videos like this. And if you want to learn more about this topic, be sure to watch the other videos on our YouTube channel. And as always, for more information, go to respiratorytherapyzone.com. That's it for this one. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you in the next video. And as always, Breathe easy, my friend.